morning y'all happy monday my name is sonali if you guys are new to my channel and we're doing a week in my life this week i didn't do one last week i don't know why i just like wasn't really in the best mood for vlogging i just edited a whole video and i got to almost 10k steps i'm at 9700 or something but um ryan always likes this one coffee place near us so i think we're gonna go walk there but I'm definitely gonna hit those 10k steps. I got this hat yesterday. We had a wholesome Sunday and I actually vlogged that. So definitely go watch that if you guys are interested. We just did a bunch of random things in Austin. And today a lot of my friends have off. So we are planning on going paddleboarding later today. But first we are going to get some caffeine. I haven't decided if I really want anything. Just kind of want to get outside because it is actually the most perfect day here in Austin. It is gonna be like 80 degrees and sunny and beautiful. I definitely want to spend as much time as I can outside. Here's the outfit of the day. <laughs> I'm wearing a swimsuit. It is 80 degrees and we're going paddle boarding. So I'm very excited. There's nothing I love more than being on the water in Austin. There's so many lakes and just like bodies of water that you can paddle board on it or just like swim in. Um, but I need to prepare myself. I actually just put sunscreen all over myself. Um, I'm not really sure if these shorts are very flattering, but they were the only clean shorts I had. So we're just gonna roll with it. This swimsuit though is from Monday Swimwear and I'm obsessed with their swimwear. Like, I love how it's ribbed. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but it just like sucks you in so good. They are definitely pricey, but I fell in love with like the first couple, so I bought even more. First, we need to put some hair serum in our hair because it's hair washing day. I don't think I can go one more day with my hair being like this. All over, massage it in a little bit. So we have a blow up paddle board. Ryan bought it like, I wanna say like the month that he moved back to Georgia and he just left it for me. But honestly, I don't know how to blow it up myself so I didn't really use it. Um, so he's gonna teach me today. He has a call at two, but I think we're just gonna go early and he's just gonna teach me how to blow it up. It just looks like a lot of effort to be honest. I mean, I don't think it looks that hard, but I just don't want to mess anything up and like have it leak air while I'm on the paddleboard on the lake. So it's very nice of him to come and do that. Next up, of course, face sunscreen, super goop. I'm noticing I'm getting a lot of like random sunspots on my face, like right here. I wouldn't call them freckles. I would definitely say they're like sunspots. And I don't know if that's a good thing, to be honest. So that probably just means I'm not putting on enough sunscreen every day. And sometimes I definitely forget. So I need to make it more of a thing, especially now that it's getting hotter outside. But this glow screen is so beautiful because it gives me a little glow and a little bit of color. So that's nice. I don't really feel like the need to wear makeup. Also, I'm going to be wearing a hat and sunglasses. So we should be good to go. I'm charging up my little JBL Clip 4 speaker so we can listen to some music on the lake. And I don't want to get my new hat dirty just yet. So. I'm going with this one that I got in California. And this is a bit. back home and I am like shaking my legs are shaking it wasn't as bad on the water right when we got out there but then as we were getting closer to the city it was getting windier and windier and then we were actually going against the wind on our way like towards the city so we thought we were gonna you know just leisurely like float back to the dock that we docked off at no, that was not the case because the wind switched up on us. We were rowing away from the wind again and it was just so windy. I am definitely gonna be sore tomorrow, which it was a great workout, but like, holy shit. <laughs> we did not think we were gonna go like that far towards the city. Um, 
we definitely thought it was just gonna be a more chill day on the water but that's okay i feel so like dirty and grimy and lakey i think there's like something in my eye too so i'm gonna go take a shower wash my hair um it was a lot of effort putting the paddleboard up honestly like it wasn't as bad setting it up but like putting it back in the little pouch and everything was was annoying i broke a nail so love that for me i'll just glue it back on because it's like a gel x thing so it just like popped off so i guess it's not that it's broken but i also need to chug like five gallons of water i'm also thinking about taking a liquid iv because that's how dehydrated i feel right now good morning it is wednesday i'm here with sophie because she is going to the vet she has to get all of her like shots i was trying to make her a grooming appointment actually and they told me that all the shots were expired so i'm gonna go get it done at emancipate i think we brought her here for her last shots ryan did it last time so i am going to do it this time i don't know if there's going to be like a long wait or what but i tried to get here right when they opened at 10 um so it's 9 57 and i'm gonna head into possibly get on like the wait list or whatever they got going on We're back home. I think it took like a little under two hours just to like wait and stuff But we were really lucky because we were apparently the last people to get vaccines for the day They kind of cut it off like right after us and I literally got there right at 10 a.m When they opened and there were like already five people waiting in front of me So very very happy that I got it done and now I can finally make her grooming appointment and i also took some stuff to goodwill my car is actually like filled to the brim with just like random stuff because i was trying to declutter before ryan like moved back in. <laughs> speaking of the devil she didn't even like scream or anything i didn't hear anything but when she opened the door she like bolted out mm -hmm. to me yeah. it is lunchtime, and we are making indian food from trader joe's frozen boxes so we're doing butter chicken and then we're gonna do this one which is definitely one of my favorites i'm also using the trader joe's frozen naan i'm just gonna heat it up in a pan and let's see i think this is done here's the lunch setup these are so small but i had to split it with ryan so i gave him all the rice I have a grad shoot in a little bit, but after it, I'm going to meet my friend for dinner. I don't want to look crazy, so I just brought some makeup touch-ups, my brushes, my powder that I just got a refill on. This is the Huda Beauty um, powder, and I think it's one of the best. I actually prefer it over the Laura Mercier one now, and I have it in the color Banana Bread. And then I kind of was shitting on this palette a while ago. I feel like I do that kind of often where I'm just like, eh, I don't really think it's that great. And then I start using it again. And then I'm like, oh my God, wait, I kind of like it. So I'm gonna bring this because it's like a little palette full of just a bunch of blushes. These are all the colors in them. So it's kind of like a full face palette, bronzer, highlight, blush. And I'm just gonna take it for the blush because I love a good blush moment. I'm gonna take that. I have my camera bag ready to go from yesterday's shoe. And then I'm in a dress because it's like 90 degrees outside. And I'm going to be dying because yesterday was 80 degrees and I was already dying because UT's campus, there's a lot of walking and then also kind of a lot of hills, at least way more than my school had because I went to UCF and Florida is pretty flat. So I'm not used to all these freaking hills and steps and all that. But that reminds me, I need to go find my Apple Watch so I can make sure this workout is counted. All right, hold on one second, getting my lighting. Relax that shoulder, but go. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Perfect. And tilt your head a little bit and chin down a little bit. Good. Give me a giggle. Relax the shoulder even more. Like, put your hand down lower if you want. Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. All right, I'm going to ask you to, like, look to the corner. Cute. Tilt your head. Laugh over there. Ha ha. Perfect. Tilt your head a little bit. Very cute. Look at me now and giggle and lean forward a lot. Perfect, yes. Switch up the um, shoes a little bit. Okay, three, two, perfect. Three, two, and look at me and laugh. Lower the arm, lo lower the hand, sorry. Hand? Yeah. Three, two, and look at your mom and me. Out a little bit, good. 
Now lean in with that other shoulder. Perfect, yes. I just got done with the shoot and I expected it to be a lot hotter than it was, but thank goodness. It was like 90 degrees when I left the house and somehow it was just like really shady the whole time during our shoot. And I also forgot my water in my car. Like I brought my water for the shoot and I forgot in my car. I was kind of dying because I feel like I'm talking, I'm walking around, I'm photographing and I feel like I can't even like catch my breath sometimes. But I guess that's good because I love when my grads are talkative. But I just pulled up into Griselda's. I'm actually meeting my friend here that just moved to Austin. We went to high school together. So she's from Georgia and I'm just so excited to have another person from Georgia move to Austin. So that's really exciting. Her name's Senna. She was in a blog a while ago because she was visiting and we went to Makoko. So we're keeping on the Mexican food train. I'm really craving fajitas, but I know it's like such a big thing, so maybe we'll split. Here is the outfit with the boots. I am obsessed. I really was trying to get on my comfort zone, especially by just not wearing jeans. I feel like I just always wear jeans. So, I don't know if I'm doing too much because this is literally just a casual lunch date with my friend, but I have to get a photo today. I just have to. We're going to South Congress too, so I feel like we can find a cute little background. I really feel like I look very extra, but kind of loving it. I don't know if I showed you guys this thing, but it is a slick back like hair tool in a mascara bottle and I just think it's very genius but as you see it's like a mascara thing and then like if I ever get like a little fly away on top or like these things always come out these little side pieces you just like push it back and it just stays so well we just got seated down and look at this girl's outfit <laughs> Two hands. She just moved here. Yeah. I told you guys in my last uh, other vlog. You're showing me all the places, which is yeah. perfect. I know. <laughs> There's so much yeah. to explore. My piece of toast looks like a freaking artwork. It does. It's a masterpiece. Masterpiece. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> we walked over to Summer House. It's like behind Music Lane. Holy crap. I've never been back here, but it's so picturesque. And this lobby. Is stunning. I think I'm gonna take a pic right in front of this elevator because it looks cool. Oh my gosh, Nancy is literally number one hype girl. She did that. Look at like, her pictures. Oh my god! Stunning. Wait, can you zoom? Sorry. Stunning. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show. Oh gosh, don't show my nails. Oh my. <gasps> they, are you? I'm this shook. is a joke. This is I'm a shook. joke. You're kidding. Ah, thank you. Thank You're you. Thank kidding. you. <laughs> Look who I bumped into, Natasha. I feel like she's queen of South Congress. Uh, literally, I, li I live here. <laughs> it's much later, it's 5.20, and I'm actually hosting a girls game night tonight. And I'm really excited because me and Ryan actually went to Target, was it last weekend? I think it was. We just like randomly got some games. We got Scrabble, Late Night Taboo, and then Uno. And it's funny because a lot of my friends are big games girls, and the whole time I was just like, ugh, oh, game night, ugh. Oh, but it's kind of fun when you like actually know how to play and just get really competitive. Um, and I was like literally craving to play Scrabble because I also just like want to learn more words. Also update on my nails. A couple popped off today. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure if I should glue them back on or just like take them all off and redo them, but I'm going to Nashville in three weeks. So I want to time it out perfectly so I can do my nails right before Nashville, but that's also South by Southwest, so I might do my nails right before South by. But I did say that the last time and I already know one nail is like super, super short. So maybe I'll just do Gel X on one nail, the one that's really short, and then try to grow out my natural nails because this one is not too bad. But I really haven't decided if I just wanna glue them back on and be lazy, <laughs> uh, but tonight, we are actually cooking dinner. We haven't gone grocery shopping. We've just been like eating whatever in the fridge and freezer 
which there wasn't that much in the fridge, but there's definitely stuff in the freezer. Um, and I got this chicken shawarma thing, again, from Trader Joe's. I've gotten it before, it's pretty good. Just like marinated chicken. So I think I'm gonna do some kebabs tonight, some peppers and red onion. robot vacuum is going right now so sorry about the loud noises in the back but here are the kebabs how freaking delicious do they look I love the red onions and the peppers so I'm gonna be chowing down tonight and then I also made some uh, cilantro lime rice Good morning y'all it is Sunday I have just not really been feeling extremely motivated to vlog honestly I just really don't feel like passionate anymore and I I think it always happens around this time when I'm about to start grad season. So that could definitely be it, but I just feel like my vlogs have been so repetitive lately and I like don't really know what to do to switch them up because my life is about to get even more monotonous because I'm gonna have grad sessions in the morning and night. So I'll have the middle of the day to do whatever I need to, but I just feel like I'm gonna be very busy with like grad season and stuff. If you guys don't know, I'm a photographer. I probably said something about a shoot in this vlog, but um, so I specialize in grads at UT Austin. And so grad season started last week or this past week and it goes until like May-ish. So it's like almost every weekday. Um, but this year I'm really just saying no to weekends because my weekends are sacred. And then also, um, I'm trying to just shoot on Monday through Wednesday and not Thursday, Friday because I just want some wiggle room in case I need to reschedule someone if it like rains or if it's just really shitty weather because last year I filled up my schedule with so many shoots and then it was really, really hard to reschedule when I needed to. So this year I'm saving myself from stress just in case we have another shitty weather spring when it comes to like rainy season. Um, but it is Sunday, like I said. We're gonna have another wholesome Sunday, so I thought I would add on to this vlog. If you guys have any recommendations on what you wanna see in the vlogs specifically, please let me know. Um, I feel like I wanna do like cooking more. I definitely need to eat at home more, so that will go hand in hand. So maybe I can incorporate more of that. But I even like am thinking about just switching up the videos to not be just weak in my life. So maybe like like challenges throughout the weeks, but still like vlog my week. For example, like what I spend in a day or what I spend in a week in Austin. So like videos like that, but you guys let me know what you think. I don't wanna like stop vlogging, but I just want to feel really passionate about it, especially because it does take so much time to like edit the videos and I'm just like not feeling it lately. And I definitely prefer like all the other platforms over YouTube, like TikTok and Instagram. And I'm still definitely posting on there. So go follow me over there if you guys are interested. It is so underscore gnarly without the G. We're going to start off the day by going to uh, a new breakfast place called Ovenbird. Hopefully we can get in. I just called and they said they had like a little bit of a wait, but not too bad. Um, so let's go get some breakfast in us. We are in South Austin trying out this place, Ovenbird. Hopefully it's good. I've actually had this saved on Instagram for so long. We got done with breakfast and I am kind of regretting not getting a matcha because I wanted to like get it later. There's this like pop-up and I think they're called matcha boys. I'm not really sure, but they're doing something at native hostel today. And it's like starting at 2 p.m. So I kind of want to try it if we are around the area. So I wanted to save my caffeine for then. I feel like if I get too much caffeine, I'll be super, super anxious. I do not 
feel like feeling that today. But oven bird was like good. I don't think it's anything spectacular, um, but I didn't try the matcha, so that could have wowed me. But we're now at the domain. I think we're gonna shop around and just like get some inspo for spring. And we are also going on a couple's trip to Nashville in March and South by Southwest is happening that same week. So I'm doing like half and half, um, South by for the first half and then going to Nashville for the second half of the week. So we want to just like see if we can find any outfit inspo, especially for Nashville. Um, I know Ryan wants to get some shoes. What are, what are the shoes you're wanting to get? The white on Roger Federer, like leather ons. I don't know what they're actually called. Really Thanks. We've been look, I feel like we've been looking at those for like a year now. Yeah, more than that. <laughs> yeah, definitely more than that. Every time we go to Nordstrom, I'm just like, you should get them. And he never does, but anyways, maybe he'll get them today. And I don't really know what I'm shopping for, but honestly, I just want to get inspo because I want to go online shopping more. I prefer online shopping, but I just don't even know the vibe for Nashville. Like my friends and I haven't really talked about it. We're not going for a bachelorette party, so I don't know how like fancy we're going to get like glitter sparkles fringe or if we're going to go more casual. I do need to look for a green outfit though. You do too. Green? Yeah, because it's St. Patrick's Day. Um, I'm probably going to leave my camera in the car to be honest because... It's so heavy. Also, in my last vlog, a comment I got was, what is the camera you're filming on? Because it looks so compact, which is hilarious that that girl commented that because it is like far from compact. It is this chunky ass camera with a long lens, but I'm shooting on the Sony a7 IV. So it's like the newest model. And the lens is a Tamron 17 to 20. 28 millimeters. Whenever people ask me for camera recs, I always point them to Sony's, but not this line. Especially if you're just vlogging, like this is not necessary because I shoot my photography sessions with this camera as well. So that's why I invested in this body. But vlogging camera I used to use was the Sony A5100. And I don't know if they make that anymore because it was such an old model, but they have so many new versions of it. So it's like A6, 6400 i think is like one of the really good ones um it is a bit bigger but i mean i think you can still find the sony a5100 on ebay i definitely recommend just getting the body and then purchasing separate lenses even like if you're getting like a bigger camera like especially if you're getting a bigger camera because usually the kit lens is not all that great and so you can save a little money by doing that We actually ended up just going to Nordstrom um, and we didn't find anything. Ryan didn't see the ons that he wanted. Um, they're more like a casual shoe, would you say? Well, not like a, not like an ath athletic shoe <coughs> or a dress shoe, right? Yeah, dress shoe. Okay, well, I don't know. It's a casual versus athletic, right? Yeah, but now we're gonna go check out a matcha pop-up i've been following these people on instagram for a while and i never know where they are going to pop up and i don't think they like pop up very often but i saw that they were popping up at native hostel today and i've actually never been to native hostel so I'm excited to be checking out a new place today i think it's like a coffee shop but it turns into a bar at night if i'm not mistaken but it's on the east side so very close to home 